Thank you. 
Hello and a very good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby and it is time for what is going to be, I think, an amazing masterclass over the course of the next couple of hours. We are going to be looking at uh, those amazing jigsaw dies. We've got the large stencils on the show for you as well. If you've ever wanted to build your own village, we've got the dies to be able to do that and those fantastic new dimensional favour boxes coming up on the show for you too. We're going to be looking at them all. That's what this masterclass is all about, giving you hints and tips on some of our latest products that we've brought to you here on the channel. However though, the star of this show, and if you've already got one of these, you're gonna love it because we're gonna be doing a masterclass all about the Gemini Pro. And there's only one man who could take you through this particular show. It's the pro himself, and sadly he wasn't available. So we've got Craig. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely buzzing. We have got two hours. I'm just ignoring that insult a moment ago because I, I love don't him care. really. Don't care. We've got two hours. We've got master classes. All about the big boy. Wrong one, Craig. It's not about the Gemini Go. It's all about the Gemini Pro. We Woo! have got two hours. Not only two hours with a masterclass at the Gemini Pro. As I've made it clear over the last couple of days, this is my first dedicated two hour show when it comes to the Gemini Pro. I am beyond excited. I've done little bits over the last week or two in between shows, but I am beyond excited to uh, get really stuck in, delve in as to what we can do. And I'll tell you what, what we're going to do very quickly, just to give you a bit of an idea as to how amazing this machine is, Craig has lined up his very first demo, which, well, you're not going to believe this. Wait till you see how much you can fit through this machine in one pass. Look at your plates. Look at my plates. Look at this one. So we're going for the big one. We're going with a big plate on this one here. I've taken a load of nesting dies. It could be any dies. However, I had my nesting dies at the side, and I will be honest with you, it was either this or eat lunch. So what I've done is I quickly done this and had a bit of lunch. So lots of nesting dies, any of your wafer thins if you want. So we've got so many. So there's a, a equivalent of four different sets, not 100% each of them, but you can see I filled it as much as I absolutely could when it comes to these. So plastic, magnetic, and top plate. I think I've carried 33 dies on that, uh, <laughs> on that plate. Good, good count, good count, what do you think? Good count, there you go. So what we're doing, layering these ones up. No different if you've got any of our other Geminis. It's our wafer thin dies, it's on the large plate scale. So that means it is our uh, base cutting plate, magnetic, plastic, and then top there plate. There we go. That's gonna go through. Think about your nesting dies. Then of course, think about your easel dies. Think about your layers. Think about maybe the boxes that you're doing. Doing the actual uh, large boxes. Doing the humongous boxes. Think of the time that it's going to cut down when it comes to your layers. Now straight away, we are not going to sit and pop all these ones out live in front of me. But look at all of these. These have all die cut just perfectly. They are the Gemini, so of course they're going to cut perfectly. But what it's done is it's cut down on the time. It's done all of these layers. Unbelievable. Now I have secured them with low tack tape because of course this many dies I absolutely would. But look at these ones. So you could be doing maybe your, could be your triple easel dies. Yeah. Think of the layers you need for the triple easel dies. Do them all together. Same color, different colors, you absolutely can do. But what I'm gonna do is you can even see how well that they're starting to die cut. Ben, I'm gonna throw back to you for a moment. I'm gonna finish off just popping all these ones out so you can see they've die cut perfectly, beautifully, and the scale that I've been able to cut using the beast itself. 31 dies in one pass. 31 dies in one pass. That's what you've got the ability to do with the Gemini Pro. If you haven't yet got this, grab it today. We don't have a huge amount of stock left. 449 or 499.95. Lest your platinum take another 20% off that. We've got plenty more to show you, but wow, here's a video with some more information. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. 
With a huge 12x12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure, and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die-cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge-to-edge -edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim, and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. There's so much excitement about the Gemini Pro. Remember, this is a masterclass, so if you've uh, just got yours and you've got any questions you need answered, then get in touch on the socials. If you are someone who's considering about getting your hands on the Gemini Pro today, uh, but there's a question that you need answered before you take the plunge, get those questions in on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, loads of you loving the show already. Linny saying, afternoon everyone. Craig, you make me laugh with how enthusiastic you are about the Pro. And Ben, your shirt is awesome. Uh, Craig is always excited, says Adam Rose. He has so much energy, I love it. Uh, Hadassah on Facebook, Craig's excitement is off the charts, but I totally understand it. Uh, and loads of you just loving that demo, seeing how much you can do in one pass with the Gemini Pro. Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube saying, my second reason why I bought the Gemini Pro, massive cutting in one pass. I love it. Keep those comments coming in. Uh, let us know why you love yours. Let us know what you've been using yours for and any questions. Uh, if you want to get this today, but you need to have that question answered, get those questions coming in. I'm not kidding you, he's cut so many dies over there, he's only literally this second just finished yeah. popping them all out because there was 31 dies he cut through. That's the biggest demo I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, that was loads, loads and loads and loads. This was a piece of our A3 Centura Peralt card. Now there is uh, cutting back on the waist and then there's cutting back on the waist. <laughs> But you can see here, I've got another piece. So I've got pink here. So actually, let's put it on white just so you can see underneath. So wow. I've cut all of that. One pass. A3, so double A4, or just under the double the letter press. So that's how it's looked that I've just popped it through. Here is all everything that I've just cut <laughs> in one pass. Unbelievable. All the way through my Gemini, and I've got still here at the side, at the pro, they're on the floor, <laughs> all on the floor. We can see, so all of them, all these layers I have cut, but not only that, Ben, this also puts it into perspective. I'm gonna move them out the way. Now, I'm certainly not gonna do what I've just done there, because I don't wanna lose them. That was all of the nest and dies. That's incredible. Still got more. Come all on. of the nest and dies that I just used within that A3 piece of cardstock. So that is everything that I've used a moment ago so we can cut out all of them. So we've got all of them together. Wow. They're still, look, they're still all doubled up. They're still all doubled up that we can see here. So you can see we can really, really maximize when it comes to the space. Now, what I want to say as well, when it comes to the Gemini Pro, so yeah. let's also, I'm gonna set them to the side just now. We can sort and tidy them later on. Very quickly, if you are new to Crafter's Companion, maybe you're new to the Gemini range in, uh, you know, in entirety. Maybe you know our Gemini range. There is, apart from the size, and I'm going to come back on that, there is nothing different to the Gemini Pro compared to the Gemini Go or the Mini or the original die yeah. cutting machine. So the pressure is exactly the same. We have had to uh, configure it slightly because we've got that larger mouth at the side here. The pressure is exactly the same. However, it is a pro, so it's about size. Now, it's not ne necessarily about bringing out 12 by 12 dies in the future. 
What it is about is allowing you now to make your big boxes. Now to die cut and do the decorative edges around your big boxes, you couldn't do it before. Couldn't do it. Well, you would maybe need to go back to many years ago bringing in your paper punches or that. Yeah. Now, this enables you to do your scrapbook pages, 12 by 12, or of course A3, which is double A4, just under double letter, uh, letter press size. So this is now enabling you to do your dies on your scrapbook pages into maybe things like your, your larger cards, your larger card stocks. Do your boxes, decorate around the edges. But then what we have done as well, we brought in stencils, big stencils. We're going to show you them in a moment as well. So it's about in, uh, stenciling, embossing your card stock that you can see here into place. So what I'm going to do is if I bring in, we've got some stencils here. So we've got a nice selection that we've got here that we're going to use. So I'm going to go just with the top one because we've got that to size. So what we're then going to do is I have then got my plate. Yep. So the one that I am needing, so I'm not sure if Tracy is out there. I've got all my plates, I just don't have an embossing mat. So what we're going to then do is we're going to bring in the hearts. So this one is uh, 12 by 12. So you can see here, straight away, stencils, ink through it, spritz through it. You can do whichever way that you like. So what we're going to do in a moment, so we're going to bring in our plate. So I also need, the one that I don't need, uh, or I don't have that I need, is the embossing mat. Yep. So we need our embossing mat, which is coming in a moment, but I can get started. So what I'm going to do is, let's even cut it down to 12 by 12 if you want, but let's just keep it as an A3 for the time being. So what we're going to do is bring in our base cutting plate that we can see here. So we're layering up all these good to go. What I'm also going to need in a moment, as well as my embossing mat, we need our plastic shim, but then we also need our top cutting plate. Now exactly the same, whether you're using the Junior or the Large Gemini, all that you need is these layers. You don't need your magnetic shim. So look at that, even, look at that, even all my dies have stuck to that because it's magnetic. So it's exactly the same as any of the machines. What you don't do is if you've got your rubber embossing mat, you don't need your magnetic. So we're going to cut that one out. So I'm going to move that out of the way. What I'm going to, going to do in a moment is we're going to come back to me in a second. Ben, if we can come back to you, yeah. we're going to get our mat sorted in a second and then we can come back to me. And we're going to do it. Absolutely. There's loads of excitement about this um, already, as I've said. Loads of you as well have um, already got your Gemini Pros. What I love in the comments is there's so many of you saying, I've called mine the beast i'm liking the name the beast and that's what this machine is kind of you know, quite fondly uh, called right now uh, a better saying the beast i'm liking the name uh, and mandy doodle hands on youtube just saying hello everyone uh oh the bank balance is going down 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 again down oops uh, regina just saying i love my pro so glad i purchased it uh, and dawn nordstrom on youtube saying if i had the pro i don't think i would hide it away in my craft room i think it should be on my kitchen table for all to admire it certainly is a a brilliant bit of kit and also just to say before we've even started 20% uh, of the stock for the show has already gone get your hands on the pro today is the day 449 or 499 95 um, is the deal on this today less 20% now obviously this will come with your 12 by 12 plates that you will need however we do have more plates available for you if you want to get extra on so we can show you the details uh, coming up for you here of the extra plates that you can go for today should you want to I think it's good isn't it to kind of like have these uh, in your armory so your 12 by 12 clear plate and plastic shim collection that one actually comes with um, your plate storage bag it's free within the bundle for $44.97 um, here in the UK, however, in the US, it's sold out, sadly. Uh, here in the UK, limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... Yes, Craig. So if you want to get your hands on the uh, 12 by 12 replacement plates, then go for those as well. You will obviously get the plates with it, but it's always good to have these as a, uh, as a backup for when you de do need to have uh, those replacement plates. If you want to go super, super size, then you want to go for the 12 by 18 plate collection. Uh, again, apologies to our US viewers. Uh, this has sold out, but as you can see there, you've got your, um, your clear plates in there. You've got your magnetic shim, your metallic plate, your rubber embossing mat, all included. 99.95 here in the UK. As I say, sadly sold out um, in the US. And as far as the stock is concerned here in the UK, 
we are, do you say it's limited as well? Limited stock! There's green on the screen, which means... It won't be seen! So basically, if you're here in the UK and you're wanting to get the plates to go uh, with your machine, then move swiftly because limited stock on both the collections of the extra plates and actually the machine itself, 20% of the stock has already gone. So do not miss out. Grab it whilst it is here. Uh, Karen just saying this would be good for my scrapbooking. Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Karen... If budget allows, honestly, grab this today. Do not miss out on this deal. Uh, Gemma Swift is saying, my crafting has eventually taken off. I spent the last 12 months literally spending on Crafters Companion products and now have lots of birthdays and occasions to make for. I am loving it. Right, let's get back to that demo. So last time we saw Craig, he was getting ready with one of those uh, large stencils, which we have on the show. I'll show you those in full details in just a mo. We have indeed. So we've got a rubber embossing mat. All the key components when it comes to the plates you get within the set. Now, do remember, when it comes to any machine, you know how I always like to say I keep one plate crystal clear so that it is going to be good for embossing. Now, this is the sort of technique that I like to keep one plate clear. So what I'm doing is I've got my embossing mat. I'm going to go in with my stencil and then I've taken a piece of our Centura Peril. 12 by 12 but what I'm going to do is I'm still just going to go in with my A3 card and because we've got a rubber embossing mat it means that we need our plastic shim but we don't need our magnetic but we do need our top plate in this occasion this is where I flipped it the other way round and I'm using my top cutting plate so we can feed that one up to our pro so that's going to go all the way through what that does is on a larger scale, that's going to push all that embossed detail all the way through to your card. Straight on a cardstock, but that could be your scrapbook page, and that could be your memory books, that could be your uh, any of your uh, memory books, as I said a moment ago, scrapbook pages, or what you can also do is incorporate them into your boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this. Now, I knew, I knew there was a way to do this, Ben. I've done this one the wrong way round. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back again, uh -huh. but we're going to flip it over. So we're going to do the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a rubber embossing mat. So we're going to do it this way. Let's move that out of the way, Craig. It's not that way that you need. So we're going to do it this way, popping this one in, because what we need to do is we need to push all that detail. And even then, gosh, Craig, bear with, bear with. You're all right. There we go. Because what you're needing is your stencil. Yep. So we've got our stencil here onto our clear mat. We're bringing our cardstock into place. And then what's going to happen is our embossed mat is going to push all of those hearts all the way through. So plastic and then top plate. So we're going to bring this one through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to line up our plates. And we're going to pop them ones through. I am using the larger plates, like the big, big larger plates. You get the 12 by 12 ones. So this one is then going to come all the way through. It's called Pro. The original idea is for anyone out there who does uh, a lot of batch making, wedding invites, is going to make it quicker. I think it's fair to say there was a lot of uh, crafters out there that like to do it as a hobby, have yep. still come along and bought the Pro as well. So what we can do, I'm not sure we can see this up above at the moment, so we're, we're starting to see a light emboss, but don't worry at the moment. We're going to turn this one around. Can we uh, see the yes. depth here within the boss here? Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm going to stay still. Fantastic. And what we're going to do is we're going to tip that one. So what happens now on a much, much larger scale, we are now doing all that embossing. So think wise that could be, if we even bend, let's do this very quickly for all the second it's going to take. Let's bring in our guillotine. And I'm roughly going to cut this by 12 by 12, just following the lines. So we've got 12 by 12 cardstock out there. We've got pattern cardstock. We've got a lot of cardstock out on the market that you can absolutely buy. But what about now doing your own 12 by 12 embossed cardstock? Love that idea. So that can then be for your uh, photos, maybe your memory books. And I keep going back to memory books because this is going to be perfect for it. Also saying as well, if you've got the 10 inch memory book, then you will need the Pro to use that one, which I know many of you will already know. But it's pushing it beyond uh, a size that we never ever thought and I don't just mean us at Crafters Camp Companion I mean in crafting in general never thought we'd be able anyone would be able to do a large die cutting machine if anyone can I know I'm biased if anyone can we at Crafters Companion with Leanne and product development team have 
absolutely nailed it with the Pro. Hey, and Kelly uh, Wickoff on Facebook saying exactly the same. I've had my Pro for a few weeks. I love it. I don't even feel like I've even begun to understand how many wonderful things that I can do with it. Glad for this masterclass. Uh, Mary Ahada. Hi, Mary on Facebook saying, I bought extra cutting plates, need backups. Yeah, seriously, once you get using this machine, you will not stop. Uh, a few questions coming in, which we'll put to Craig in just a little while. Uh, Dale saying, so Ben, can Sarah add a diamond level for Club Inspire? I'm sure you would have many, many customers at that level just saying, Dale, you can ask Sarah yourself a little bit later on because she's here uh, later for launch party, uh, seven o'clock UK uh, time, two o'clock Eastern. So um, put, ask that question again, I'll ask her uh, when she's here later. Uh, and Clarden on YouTube just saying, I made puzzles for family members of a photo we took at my mother-in-law's memorial. I made a box for them and put the picture on top of the box. Um, Keep questions coming in on the Pro uh, because I'll put those to Craig in just a few moments time. And don't forget any questions or um, any comments will get you a step closer to winning all of the goodies that we've got for our National Craft Month prize today, um, which is an unbelievable bundle. But listen, this machine is amazing. As Craig has said, as you saw at the top, as a time saver, this is unbelievable. You know, for those bigger projects, for scrapbooking. And if you are somebody perhaps who is thinking, you know, when the world gets back to normal about starting your own little sort of side hustle, if you like, of, you know, um, making cards or making, um, you know, scrapbooking pages or making, you know, um, invitations and all these kind of things. Imagine the amount of time this will save you for uh, batch making. This really is unbelievable. And if it is a little bit business that you're thinking about setting up, I think this really is and well and truly money well spent because it's going to save you time, it's going to give you the accuracy that you need uh, and for £449 a day or £499.95 it is an unbelievable buy and don't forget if you're a Platinum member uh, another 20% comes off that price that you're seeing on the screen as well. So grab it, we are at 30% of the stock for the show has gone. Uh, lots of people may be seeing this for the first time live, uh, are jumping in and grabbing it. Now, other items that we have on the show, which I am very excited about, the jigsaws. Now, we launched these, I wanna say, I wanna say it was last week, it might have been the week before, but OMG, how great are these? Literally allowing you to take um, any photos that you've got. Th this set really for me is a great excuse to print off photos because how many photos have you got on your phone currently that just sit there and you don't do anything with them? This is an excuse to um, get your photos off your phone and turn them into a jigsaw. I know it might be uh, a little bit too late for Mother's Day uh, this weekend, but for things like birthdays, for things like anniversaries, for Valentine's, for Father's Day, all occasions, make a puzzle for that loved one in your life and it's so so simple to do it really really is um, the great thing about this deal as well we are giving you for free 20 sheets of mount board so you have got the ability to make jigsaws just like this honestly um, our guys have had so much fun playing with these um, seriously look at this as well by the way just popped into a little box how gorgeous is this as a gift idea your jigsaw goes inside there. And they are honestly top quality. Sarah made one for me, which I took home. Uh, and my kids and indeed my wife have had fun putting it together. It's, it's just like the quality that you would expect, you know, from a jigsaw that you were to buy from your local um, toy shop, for example. But how much fun will you have putting these together? But here's the other thing. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, kind of just making jigsaw puzzles to put together. You can, of course, um, adopt them into your crafts as well. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Using the jigsaw puzzle pieces um, to actually make a little frame for um, cards, for home decor pieces. Again, look at this. I know my daughter would absolutely love that. The possibilities are endless here. You're getting 20 seats of mount board for free, 29.99 or 39.95 if you want to go for the five by seven. However, if you want to supersize it, You've got your 10 by 8, 48 piece jigsaw. This this is the one I think, I think Craig uh, cut this one earlier, I want to say. He's still trying to put it together, the jigsaw that he cut out. I mean, he's so slow with the jigsaw. Um, but yeah, again, this is the ability for you to be able to, you know, take your uh, pictures and create some amazing projects. I love the idea as well. Sarah, um, when she was in with me last week or the week before, uh, brought in some pictures that her boys had drawn and uh, turned those into jigsaws as well, which I just think is such a cute idea. You know, getting your kid 
kids involved, getting your kids crafting, taking their creations and making them into a jigsaw. And once again, you know, being able to create beautiful home decor pieces like this. So yes, you're going to be making jigsaws to give to people for them to put together. You know, yes, you're going to be doing home decor um, items. Yes, you're going to be making ca uh, card projects as well. Once again, with this deal, you're getting 20 sheets of mount board for free. It works out you're getting the uh, mount board for free. Uh, saving $17.99 or $19.95, $49.99 or $59.95 is the deal on this one. Uh, as I say, again, this has been the most popular as far as the jigsaws are concerned. I just think, once again, this is the kind of thing that once you've got it, you'll not stop using it. It'll be an excuse to print out all of those photos and just create. Again, if you're thinking about raising money for a charity, you know, the schools have gone back here in the UK as well. And um, if you're thinking about this summer for the summer fate at school, you know, setting up, uh, you know, a little store with jigsaws, personalised jigsaws for, for members of your kids' school. I just think this is such a cool idea. I really, really do. Uh, grab it today. 20 sheets of mount board, as I say, come up with it. Uh, 49.99 or uh, 59.95 is the deal on that. Right. Favour boxes. Now, again, this deal is unbelievable because uh, you're going to get so much for your money. Um, I'll show you through the boards, which I, I know potentially aren't the most exciting thing in the world, and I'll show you some of the finished samples that you've got with this as well. But basically, what you have got with this collection are a huge amount um, of dies and stencils. So if I quickly go through these, this one here is upside down uh, and is your origami favour box. So you've basically got um, everything you need to be able to, um, to cut out uh, the actual box itself and once again once you've done that you've got then the ability to be able to just fold where you need to fold stick where you need to be able to stick and then you get with this all of those dies to be able to decorate the boxes as well so that's what you're going to get with all of the different boxes within the collection which are as follows so you're going to get this gorgeous uh, ornate favor box also included within this collection you have got your um, origami favor box then you've got this one here, something for each and every occasion, your happy heart favour box. Just a little bit different. Look at this one here. This one is your uh, country cottage favour box, which in fact is uh, that one just there. So, so simple to do when you've got these stencil and die sets, uh, the ability for you to be able to create these boxes for all sorts of occasions, you know, whether it be for little wedding favours, you know, with Easter on the horizon, whether you want to like hide little Easter eggs in here as well, you've got the ability to do that. Next up within this, you're also going to get your uh, locking heart favour box. Then you've also got this one here, which is your um, handled favour box. And once again, look at that. The fact that you can decorate all these up and that you've got the uh, interchangeable dies there too is just phenomenal. Something for every occasion. You know, you change the, um, the card stock that you're using, uh, change the little embellishments that you've got on there as well. You've got the ability to make a box for each and every occasion. Uh, this one here is your ornate favour box. Once again, have a look. Just stunning. So different, aren't they? The three boxes that I've just shown you there, three really different designs that you've got the ability to make from this amazing collection. And then we're back to the start. 30 elements with those stencils and dies to be able to create those gorgeous, gorgeous boxes. £75 or $90 is the deal on that today. Saving 20% once again if you are a Platinum member. Love that collection. Now, we saw just a few moments ago the uh, stencils uh, that Craig was showing you, or well, one of them we saw. But we have got a whole collection for you right here. And this works out basically, uh, you're going to get eight, but you're only paying for six. So you buy six, you get two free. I said you buy six, you get two free. Yes, you do. Um, so you've got your gorgeous falling hearts and as we can see you've got the ability to use them as the stencils but as we saw a little bit earlier on as well embossing with your stencils creates a really really lovely effect so those are your falling hearts next in the collection is this one here which is your wood grain i love the fact as well as we go through these you can see we've got so many different designs look at this one your sketched swirls something a little bit different there that reminds me a little bit of um the riddler from Batman, they look like question marks. I've never seen any of the Batmans. What? You never seen Batman? No. Have you never seen Batman? Nope. Never seen any of the films. What does Batman's mum say when it's time for tea? Uh... Dinner, 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 Batman! <laughs> I have heard that one before, I just couldn't remember it. I knew it was something along that line. 
<laughs> uh, I can't believe. Right, me and you, when the world gets back to normal, what, not only are we going to have our, our horror fest, mm -hmm. we're going to have a Batman fest as well. Okay. Definitely. Uh, your confetti, he didn't sound too convinced about that, no, did he? No, no, I'm up for that. Uh, confetti, conf I don't believe him. Confetti celebrations. Again, this is something that's going to kind of come into its own, isn't it? Particularly here in the UK. 21st of June. Oh, yes, please. Uh, big size as well, don't forget. Uh, 11 and 3 quarter inches by 11 and 3 quarter inches, working perfectly with your brand new pro, don't forget. Uh, there's your dots and spots. Oh, hello. Uh, then you've also got in this collection your Chesterfield leather. Uh, there's loads in here, isn't there? You then got on top of that your deco tiles, something for each and every occasion. As I say, some beautiful backgrounds. Look at this one, uh, your natural stone. Got sort of a bit of a uh, frozen effect to that one there. And then last, but by no means least, and I knew this one was upside down, but it doesn't matter. Let's just turn it around for you. Uh, your Moroccan tile. So an eight piece collection, uh, but it works out, as I say, that you um, are buying six and you get two free. 47.94 or 59.70 is the deal on that one. You're saving 15.98 or 19.90. Another 20% comes off the price that you are seeing there. Don't forget. Now, now where that came from, uh, this next collection, I had the joy of bringing to you with Craig, I think it was at the back end of last week. What about if I said to you, we've got a collection where you could build that, right? You could build that. That's my house there. There's Craig's little house there. And then what else can you build? Oh, this one here. Look at that. Little country cottage. That's nice, isn't it? Then you've got this one here. I am building a little village, George, you're right. And then, I mean, how cute is this? A little church in the background as well. Doesn't that look like a village that you'd like to live in? Hey? Ow, how good is that? I mean, maybe you wouldn't want to live in a box in a church, uh, but yeah, very nice. And basically, again, you have got within this collection the ability to pop all of these together because for each of these um, uh, buildings here, you have got your uh, your templates all right as i say not that exciting to look at but you've got your cozy cottage template right there uh, that one there is your manor house you've then got um your village church and so on and then basically with all of the templates to be able to make the little cottages and uh, townhouses that you've got there you've then got your elements die so basically you've got the ability to decorate your little cozy cottage how cute is that to decorate your village church how cute is this to decorate your manor house? How cute is this to make your thatched uh, cottage nice and cosy? How amazing to decorate your townhouse. And then on top of all of that, you've got your village textures. So you can add the brickwork, the kind of like um, the wooden beams. Uh, you've got the clock face there as well for your church. It really is a lovely collection. And we were chatting about this. I mean, there's so much scope with the village collection. Um, for me, sprang to mind straight away, if there's anyone who loves um, like their, their trains for train enthusiasts, if you've got you know, your, uh, someone in your life who loves trains, this is the kind of thing I think they would love to have to kind of decorate the track. Christmas time to have um, around the home to build your own little Christmas village. We have people suggesting ideas of making little uh, you know, Halloween um, houses and stuff. There's so much that you can do. Money boxes people were chatting about last time. It's a brilliant collection. 85 elements for $99.99 or $124 is the deal. Saving $42.90 or $42.45. Uh, and again, another 20% comes off that deal if you're a Platinum member. Um, loads of love coming in. Uh, for the jigsaws, by the way, uh, Linny just saying, I love the jigsaws. Uh, the main problem is deciding which photos to use to give as gifts. Uh, and then loads of questions coming in as well. Do we want to do the questions now or do we want to get on with another demo? There's lots of questions about lots of different things. Let's do a couple just now. Yeah? yeah. Well, just random questions, yeah? Uh, okay, so Jean on Facebook says, this is to do with the plates for the Gemini. Would the 18 inch plates work in the original Gemini? Uh, so the 18, no, no, because no, you need your A4 plates to go with the original Gemini and these are your larger ones. Uh, to go through the Pro. Okay. But just to say that your A4 plates for your Gemini, original Gemini, will also go through your Pro, turn them sideways. They're going to go in that way. Uh, okay, so Cathy C on YouTube says, okay, could be a stupid question. There are no stupid nope. questions. Uh, which side of the mount board do you use? Mine is different colours. 
Uh, if it's different colours, then personal preference, up to yourself. Uh, I've got some white here, and it is white, double-sided. Mount board is the same all the way through, so if you've got a different colour back in, you might want to choose to go that one. No right or wrong way. Oh, actually, do you know what? We'll do a few more because we're flying yeah. through these. Uh, uh, Katie says, Ben, can you please ask Craig if he's going to get one himself? I suppose that is a pro. <laughs> oh, I'm still teetering on that edge at the moment. At the moment, I think because as well, I do have that incredible luxury of being able to be in here each day so I can have a bit of a play if I want. But believe you me, I am... Oh, I'm just... Oh, I'm teetering on the edge. Just If anything's kind of just put me right over that edge is the fact of what I seen that I'd done right at the start there with all those dies. I'm still... I know, I'm still tempted, but... Oh, like, Go on, get one. I'll get on the phone for you for the end of the show. Uh, Carol says, how many pieces did the jigsaws have? I can answer that one. I think the um, uh, 5 by um, 7 is 24 yep. and the 10 by 8 is 48. Yep. Yes. Uh, here's a good one. What, what type of paper did they use on the unicorn puzzle sample, says Melissa? So that one's just mount board as well. So it's mount board and just gone over with your inks. You know, you've gone and blend in, oh. bit of sparkle, anything like that. Yeah. But it is just mount board. If it's, it's white mount board, then you can obviously colour it. You can colour any mount board, but obviously the lighter colour, the more bright of colours that you can use. It's a uh, crushed velvet, parakeet, fuchsia and honey pop on that one, in case you wanted to know the colours. And one more question for now. Uh, Natalie M on YouTube says, will the big jigsaw die fit in the regular Gemini? So they'll both fit in the original one, yeah, because of the size of them, because it's 10 by 8, the largest jigsaw. So they're both going to go through. What I would say when it comes to the uh, jigsaw one, have a look on Facebook. Go into, uh, I'm a crafter's companion, and Leanne popped in, I think it was last week, when uh, she went over, because I think with the larger Gemini, I don't mean, when I say larger now, obviously I don't mean the pro, I mean the original, the OG. Uh, you might have to just change the plate configuration slightly, but Leanne's across on I'm a, craft, uh, I'm a crafter's companion Facebook page, and uh, there's a little uh, comment from her on there. So go and have a look there. But they will do. Uh, brilliant. Uh, we'll do some more questions in just a bit. Charlotte's just saying, more laughter and fun. Good morning, Ben and Craig. It was amazing to see all the guys you put through the pro, Craig. Literally, he was so excited earlier. I was like, what are you doing? Start of the show. He's like, I'm going to put through as many dies as I can through the pro. It's the first time he's done the show with it. So I, was, I mean, I couldn't believe it. When he stuck down, I was thinking, there's no way, no way all those are going to go through. 31 dies through in one pass, all cut perfectly. I, it, I mean, if that is not a great demo to show you why this machine is brilliant, I do not know what is. Go, if you missed it, go back to the start of the show. Uh, and by the way, you can subscribe to all of our shows on YouTube. Just hit the subscribe button, uh, then you can make your own playlist. Uh, you'll see when we've got shows coming up, and all is good. Keep those questions coming in. Uh, right now, it is time to go back over to the other side of the studio to see what he's up to next. Goodness only knows, he's on one today. He's on one. Oh, what we're going to do now is one thing that is absolutely phenomenal with this one is uh, we can make a big box. So we're going to do a big box. We're going to do the lid anyway. I've got the base. Now, straight away, if you're investing in the Pro today, if you've not got our current Get It Got It Good, where you can do your envelopes, your boxes, your envelope boxes, get across there because these two are a match made in heaven. Because what I've done is a 12 by 12, which is going to be 12 by 12 box lid, and I've scored all the way around at two inches. Now, what I'm away to do, Ben, is I'm away to decorate all the way around the edges with a die. You couldn't do that with any of our other ones. If you did, it would have to be a tiny box lid and it would have to be tiny to go through the original Gemini, but to find a full over die to actually fit into that one perfectly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I've got two exactly the same here to cut down in a little bit of uh, time for this. But what we're going to do is I've got my box lid all good to go. Then in between each sections, what I'm doing is I'm going to stick that one down into place. Oh, but sorry, whilst you're sticking as go well, for it. Um, something to do, it, maybe not now because obviously you're sticking. Someone's asked, and do you know what? I, I don't know the answer to this. And I, I, I would say, I'll be amazed if you know the answer to this. I'll be very impressed. It would be great product knowledge. But someone has asked, now who was it? Let me just find it because there's been loads come in. I've never seen this question before. Pauline on Facebook. How long is the power cord? How long is the power cord? Well, I've got the power cord here, so at some point throughout the show, you, measure you have got me on that one, Ben, because I don't know the power cord oh, there. But I would have been so do, impressed if you'd have gone, well, I think you'll find. It's, it's right here, so... It's quite long. We can absolutely Pauline, do that for you. we will measure the power cord for you. 
Absolutely. That's my favourite question of the day uh, so far. Uh, do you know something? It's mine as well. Because it's something that never gets asked. No. Or if you do have a look, if you do buy anything online, anything electrical, never really says the actual length. Occasionally, not all the time. Where yeah. is yeah? Perfect question. Now here we we'll go. So what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to take this one out. Now I want you to keep in mind, this is a 12 by 12, what will be a box lid. And what we've done is we've cut into all of these components. Now we can of course use our die release tool to get all these bits out, but I know that Leanne's not watching. I hope she's not watching. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that a bit quicker by tapping the back. So what I'm going to do, I do want to pop a uh, point out. Now I don't tap them a lot, just on air to do it a bit quicker. If you were to do that one, please just make sure that you don't actually tap the side of the die, yeah. otherwise you'll damage it. It Can is only when I'm on air that I do tap it to make it a bit quicker, to speed it up, but you do get your die release tool. If you've not got that, I know it was part of the craft fall earlier on, it was. so check that out on our just website. Just to make you feel a little bit better about yourself, um, I did the show with Leanne last week, and... Uh... Leanne, you're winding me up. Oh my gosh. See, when I've done that in the past, and I, I know that she's about, and she comes walking in, I do a runner. Oh, yeah. I know. Get a skelp bottom. Oh, get a what? Get a skelp bottom. You have to do that again. A skelp bottom. Skelp skelp bottom. Skelp bottom. Yeah, get What's a skelp bottom. Skelp bottom? A, you know, a bad like a, boy. Oh, bad. A yeah, smack, smack in the bum. A smack butt. Smack in the bum. I yeah. can't now with uh, one, COVID, and two, HR. But you know, it's Leanne. <laughs> so, uh, yes. But now, now that you've told me Leanne actually done that one, phew. You can bang away, as it were. <laughs> can do. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel all of these ones off. So let's take this one away. Now for this one, what I am going to do, Ben, is I'm going to take my tool. So we're going to take this one out. Now, I want you to think if you are buying your gift boxes out there. So things like our Ultimate Pro or our current Get It Got It Good, we can be making wine boxes, you know, bottle boxes, anything like that. Now we can decorate them with the die. But if you're out there in the market, in the shops, looking for a gift box, if you're looking for one that's got a lot of die-cut, intricate, detailed components, you're going to pay a fortune. You absolutely are. Whereas now, because of the size, you can create a lid which is up to 12 by 12. Now, I've chosen to do it at, I don't even think it's two inches, two and a half inches. Now, I could make that, of course, a bit smaller if you've got smaller dies. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to chop into here. Now, what you need to remember here, so I'm going to do this what we would usually do with a box, but obviously we need to do it slightly different because of the detail. So usually what we would do is cut a triangle yeah. and fold that one in. Now, can you see now from up above, see how you're going to cross over? You're going to see that cardstock all the way through, which you don't want. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to snip up to there oh. so that we've got a little tab. So when I go and do that and fold that in, can you see now we are not getting any cardstock all Sneaky. the way through. So we're going to, this is how we would do it usually. So snip and then we're going to cut. That's how we do it usually. And once again, just to show you, if I fold that in, yeah, yeah. that cardstock is shining through, which we don't want. So therefore we need to do a little slither. And I am going to do the other two all the way across. So we can do it just a little slither there. Do exactly the same. Now coming to adhere it, nothing different whatsoever. Still use your tacky glue, your tape runner if you want, your glue of choice. It's a box, it's construction, so I would always advise our tacky glue. Yeah. But what we're going to do, adhesive all the way around. So let's do these bits here, into each of these bits, there, there, and then there. So what we can now do is fold them over, cross that into there. And now I'm leaving this as kind of like a see-through die edges. I love it. Now, you could put, what about maybe some vellum, coloured vellum, maybe some coloured acetate if you want to. Maybe you want to do a pattern cardstock in the back. It's entirely up to yourself. But look at that one there. So we've got, this is our box lid that we can see here all the way around. We've got our decoration, 
which is all the way around. So you would do a base, so it's exactly the same. So this is it. All that I've done is decorated it. I say we, this one is the royal we for this one. Yeah. This one's been decorated, making the equivalent box base. And that is the base. Of course, the card shop was the exact same size with this one, but using our Get It Got It Good from this week, we have, of course, scored all the way round. So let's pop that one back into place. He says, here we go. So we've gone from a large box, cut all that intricate detail. Now, Ben, nothing to stop it. Why not use the die into the main point if oh, you yeah. want to do? Uh -huh. if you want to do it, if you want to have a huge aperture, you absolutely can. And this is something you can only do when you have got a large die cutting machine. And just to point out as well, a large, huge die cutting machine. This is the only one in the world that is available to you, the public as crafters. There will be huge die cut machines out there, but they are all for, obviously, you know, for company use, for a huge scale in what, whereas this one, this is now available for you as well. That incredible, what was it, 31 dies I done 31. 31 it's dies. It's a new world record. Yep. And it would still do intricate dies. The only reason I'd done nested dies is that's what I had at the side of me. But it showed you the sheer scope of the amount of dies. You've seen the, the waste, you've seen the die cut piece and the amount of dies that I used as well all in that one pass. There's so many comments coming in. A few more questions, which we'll do just now before we just remind you of all the details. Do you know what I love about this as well? There's loads of people going, Craig, I think it's time you got the machine. <laughs> uh, Car Carrie's going, Craig, with the new desk, you have plenty of room for the no. throw. You mm -hmm. should go for it. Uh, Craig, though, what I would say to you is what I will say to everybody else is if you are thinking of going for the pro today, 40% of the stock has gone, all right? And um, we, we don't have a lot. If you think, oh, that, that must mean there's, there's thousands left, there's hundreds left, <laughs> there really aren't. You've got to go swiftly if you want to get your hands on this uh, today. Carol to say, we'll have to start saving my pennies for this big guy. Oh, yes, Carol, start saving, because when you get this big guy home, the beast, um, as uh, everyone's calling it, uh, then you're going to have so much fun with it. Uh, Jane saying, love the Scottish colloquialisms, missing my Scottish relations uh, oh. during this time. Uh, and Linny on Facebook saying, Ben, that was a rubbish impression of Craig. Thank you, Linny. Well, uh, let's do a few quick questions Go before for we um, chat more about this. So, uh, June wants to know, what colour cardstock did you use for that box lid just then? So that box lid, let me bring it back in now. This is from uh, part of our Centura Pearl. This is one of the 12 by 12 ones. Uh, it was actually... It was from the range that was our Get It Got It Good from last week. So you know it was our 12 by 12 pearlescent cardstock? Oh, yes. So it, was, it wasn't part of the Get It Got It Good, but it was from that family of the 12 by 12 cardstock. If I can't remember the name during this show, what I'll do it afterwards, because okay. this is my uh, last show for the day, Sarah's taking over later, I'll go back and have a look and we'll answer them on social media for you. Um, there's a couple of questions to do with the jigsaw dies, which I know you will answer when we do the demos and that in just a second, because we're moving on to that. Um, but Stacey just asking, what's the difference using tacky glue for construction instead of using all-purpose glue? Right, Theo, so your all-purpose, is uh, that is going to be good for uh, real uh, strong layers. Now, all-purpose, you want to use it on a cardstock such as a matte cardstock, basically nothing with a coat in. So all-purpose, wouldn't use it for things like your Centura Peril, your Mirror Card or your Mirror Card, anything like that, because I like the, the alcohol base is what it can do. It's like it can actually peel away. So anything when it comes to construction, whether it's boxes, anything you're physically making a project, I would use our call out tacky glue. But then when it comes to doing your actual mats and layers, then you can, of course, then use your all-purpose glue. Um, whereas if it is a coated cardstock, this is when you're just going to bring in your uh, tacky glue instead. Um, is it? Was that the colour you used? That's it, actually. Oh, yeah. so it's from the Summer Sorbet collection. Yeah. Is that what it's called, Summer Sorbet? Summer, think, so, isn't it? So, summer yeah. Sorbet, yeah. The Summer Sorbet collection. So whoever it was was asking about the, uh, the cardstock. Uh, the Summer Sorbet collection, uh, which we have on the show. So there you go, that's the one that you need right there. We'll, um, we'll get the details up for you in uh, just a little while on that. But that gorgeous cardstock, uh, and that's the colour there that Craig was making the, uh, the box it out of. So um, there it is, 32 sheets, 
$19.99 or $24.95. And you can see as we go through there, particularly on that yellow, you see that gorgeous pearlescent sheen on there. 32 sheets, a real gorgeous splash of colour for your spring and summer projects. Right, um, keep those questions coming in. Any more? Uh, we will do in just a few moments time but loads and loads of love for this machine and as you've seen right let, let, let's just get the gist of this you know if you are someone perhaps who's looking to go to that next stage with your project then um, this is the one to go for the, the name says it all the Gemini Pro I just think that this is a business in a box really if you're looking to get a bit of a side hustle going coming out of lockdown maybe making your own cards for craft shows making your own cards to sell this is going to do the job for you because it is a time saver it's going to allow you to do everything that you need batch making quickly and accurately that's exactly what you will need to do and here's the other thing if you were wondering about how good this machine is when you put it through its paces when you put loads of dies in Scroll back to the start of the show, is what I would say to you. 31 dies in one pass. 31 dies, Craig. Seriously, if that doesn't impress you, Craig, to buy this, Craig, Craig, I, <laughs> I don't know. You're selling to me. I don't know what will. 40% of the stock has gone. Let's give you time to check out your baskets. If you've got this in your basket, Let's get your baskets checked out now. And whilst you're doing that, listen to the dulcet tones of this voiceover guy. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure, and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die-cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge-to-edge -edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. One of the best voiceovers I think I've heard in a long, long time. Um, there's loads of lovely comments still coming in. Katie on YouTube says, yes, Craig, you need this for your lives at home. Remember, Craig. Um, and Laura just saying, this show is making me really think I need the pro. What, what I would say to you is, and I, I know, I'm not, with the pro, right, it's, it's, not, it's not as if I'm saying to you, oh, you know, oh, just grab this, because everyone's got, you know, 400 and odd pounds, uh, you know, available right now. It is an investment, absolutely. And hopefully if you can't stretch to it today, then you'll be able to save up to grab one. But if you are umming and ahhing and thinking, shall I, shan't I spend 449 or 499.95 on this? What I would say to you is you can take another 20% off the price on the screen there if you are a uh, Platinum member, because that is the deal obviously with being a Platinum member. And what I would also say to you is that this really is um, an, an investment. I, I, I truly think, particularly if you are at that point now where you're looking to make to sell, very quickly you're going to recoup the cost of this machine and it's something that you're going to use, not just you know a couple of weeks down the line, I'm talking months and years down the line. Um, it really is that good. So gr grab it today if budget allows. Honestly, I truly believe you will not be disappointed with this. And one thing also that you will not be disappointed with are these. Uh, and as I've uh, mentioned, in my top three, I think, of launches so far this year, 
the uh, the jigsaw dies. I just think these are fantastic, something really, really different. You know, you come to us for ideas and inspiration, and also we bring you lots of different products. And this, for me, is something very, very out of the ordinary. Uh, your five by seven jigsaw die. So basically, you've got the ability to take the photos that you've got at home, like Sarah showed us last time she came on. Um, you know, the ability to be able to take pictures that your kids have drawn and change them into jigsaws, just like this. The brilliant thing about this deal is, is you're going to get the die, but also 20 sheets of your mount board free as well. So it works out you're getting the mount board for free. If we've still got that available as a, um, a, a, as a deal on the website, then grab more of the mount board. I'm not sure if we do, but um, I would say to you, grab it, because that 20 sheets that you're going to get with this deal will go very, very quickly indeed. And of course, if you have uh, got this, then you've got the ability, yes, to make jigsaw puzzles, but you've then obviously got the ability to make some amazing cards as well. I love that, using the jigsaw as a frame for a beautiful photo too. That is your 5 by 7 jigsaw die for 29 99 or 39 .95. Bottom of your screen now um, is the deal on the extra mount board. I would say to you, go for that. It's 7 99 or 9 .95. Add that into your basket because honestly, once you get this, you'll not stop using it. Uh, and, and again, if you're wanting to make bigger jigsaws, so that's one, that one's 24 pieces, your five by seven. You've then got the Big Daddy one, which is a 10 by eight, 48 piece jigsaw puzzle is this one. Um, and once again, do you know what? For, for a set which I think has excited everyone here at Crafters Companion, I don't think you can beat this. So many uh, of the guys here have been making their own jigsaws and they're making jigsaws for everyone else here. I know if you go over to Craig's page, you'll have seen the, uh, the wrestling one which he made. Uh, Sarah made one for me. Uh, I know Joe's got one now as well. They're just brilliant. You'll be printing off all your pictures and making some amazing projects. Love this. Um, you know, the fact that you've got the ability to, to do your own makes and then turn them into a jigsaw. If you don't want to do jigsaws, then you've got the ability to make some amazing um, home decor pieces as well. Uh, but as I've said, if you do want to be able to you know, make these as jigsaws to send, you've got so much scope for each and every occasion, whether it is, I mean, it's too late for Mother's Day here in the UK, but for things like birthdays, for Father's Day, for anniversaries, for weddings. I mean, these would just get an absolute treat. And how nice also to be able to, uh, you know, make a jigsaw for a family member maybe, maybe you haven't seen for a while, somebody who loves their puzzles and, and jigsaws and all these kind of things, and just to send in the post something like um, this, which I just think is really, really cute, um, using the... Um, uh, the box there to pop the jigsaw into, pull out the drawer, and away you go. There is that gorgeous jigsaw um, inside. And it truly is, if you're wondering about like, the quality of this, once you pop this onto your mount board, it is just literally like the jigsaws that you will go and buy um, in the shops. You really can't tell the difference. The quality of these is phenomenal. 49.99 or 59.95 for the 10 by eight. Remember that's 48 uh, pieces as well. You get 20 sheets of mount board with that too. Um, but as I said, if you want to, when you get this back, you'll make loads. So you'll run out of that free mount board very quickly. So get more details at the bottom of your screen there uh, for that mount board. Right, more questions coming in, but I'll, I'll tell you what, no, we'll do them in a second. We'll get Craig um, going over there. Um, do you want me to do the questions now? I'll do the questions now. Okay, Craig, you ready for some questions? Sorry? Are you ready for some questions? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry, just busy with my jigsaw. Carry oh, on. Are you still do is that the jigsaw you were doing earlier on? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Four hours later, he's still doing the jigsaw. Uh, right, so let's have a look. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Caught me off guard here. Uh, I've got the large jigsaw and works great with the large Gemini, but found sticking the photo onto the mount board with glue tricky. What is the best way to do this, please, says Judy. Hang on about two minutes. Yep. And that's exactly what we're ready to cover in a second. Okay. I th do you know what? I think we've got a few questions there which you're going to cover off. If you don't cover them, I'll, I'll ask them at the end of the demo. How's okay, about that? Okay, let's go for it. All right, let's do it. Rightio. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to use my uh, my plate as a little bit of a desk so we can do that there. So there we go, move that out of the way. Anyway, right, what we're going to do is there's a couple of ways that you can adhere these. Now, these are ways that I have personally tried myself 
when I've been making them at home. I personally tried them in a few different ways. So I could uh, come here and I could say to you, this works and this works and this works. So what you can do, and I've got one here straight away, either your permanent red stick and spray that you could be using when it comes to that one. The other option that you've got is your A4 self-adhesive sheets. That works absolutely fine as well. Even though you've got additional adhesive layer, that still works. The other way as well is your tacky glue. Tacky glue, whatever you're actually going to be sticking down photo-wise, you don't need a lot. You really, really don't. So either your spray or, of course, your uh, A4 uh, double-sided adhesive sheets or letter size, depending on where you are on the website, or, of course, your tacky glue, all of which you'll find on our website. Now, what I've done is I've actually uh, pre-prepped part of my demo, but I've actually taken uh, a photo that Sarah had of the boys when they're out walking in the woods. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a five by seven jigsaw. So I thought what we can then do is what we're doing now is for the actual back, we are wanting to use some of paper. Now this paper here is part of Knitwit Bloomer Grace collection. Yes, love it. So what I want to do is let's bring in our tacky glue. Now very similar to if you dab the excess glue on your hand, do a little bit of a patch test first. But what you can either do is using your finger and spread it out or what you can do is take one of your paint brushes yeah now it's key to make sure you've got a very very thin coverage if you put a thick coverage on what's going to happen is it doesn't matter how incredible our tacky glue is you're still going to get a little bit of warping simply by the water coming through so you literally do only need a little bit and what we're going to do is let's just do this bit here and then what we can do once i've finished with that one make sure warm soapy water you go net clean that off i've got some water underneath just now so what we're going to do then is pop our paper down over the top and we're going to make sure that we've got that nice and flattened so either popping a bit of pressure using your hands alternatively if you happen to have one of our spectrum noir our um our, not our roller balls our, oh the um uh, Brea. 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 That's it. You can do that. But all that you need to do is make sure that you've got no bubbles or dimples. Straight away, if you use a low quality tacky glue, PVA glue, what you'll find, low quality is just full of water. And what would happen straight away, it would start to seep, it would start to buckle, it'll even start to bend already. So you can see from up above, there is absolutely nothing there nothing there whatsoever completely flat now you would of course then leave your tacky glue to dry i would say a couple of hours what i was doing with the ones that i've done tacky glue on is i was leaving them overnight yeah and then i knew they were 100 percent dry the next day but because you're only doing a very very light layer it's not going to take long to dry whatsoever so all you would do is go around the edges with your craft knife or scissors and trim away which you're going to be left with your coated layer. Now, once again, just to reiterate, it is the tacky glue that I've used. You can use your permanent stick and spray. That's your red tin. I've tried that, works fine. And also your self-adhesive adhesive sheets. They have been tried by myself as well and work absolutely fine. So what we can do now is let's bring back in our plates. Now you can see from the size, they're going to go through the smaller ones. However, this is all about the beast itself. The so beast. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to do our base cutting plate. We're going to bring in our metal shim for this a one. A beast cutting plate, did you say? Did I say a beast cutting plate? I don't know, that's what it sounded like. All oh, right, maybe, it, well, yeah, I think obviously I meant to say base, but because I just <laughs> said beast and I've come back from uh, these ones here. Yeah. And also just to say as well, with uh, these plates here, with the metal shim, we can see we've got that nice smooth curvature edge on the edge. So absolutely fine for safety as well. So what we're going to do, the rest of it is uh, die cutting like you would do with your multimedia dies. So we're going to bring in the five by seven. So that five by seven that you can see there, you do get your 20 sheets of your mount board, this size, five by seven, just over. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our mount board, we're then going to bring in our die here. Now, keep in mind at the moment, there's no photo there. I've just done it onto pattern paper. So that could be your Centura Peril, that could be papers from Sarah's Signature Collection, Nature Garden. What about some of your background toppers from Hunky Dory? You could be using that. 
So then what I'm going to do is I popped it at a slight bit of an angle here. I'm going to pop my plastic and then my top plate here. Mm -hmm. We're going to feed this one through. And because I've got it on our big rotating disc, we're going to go through. Then the length of the cord. Oh, yes. It's so what everyone's been waiting of the for. Cord. Not yeah. only is it a pro and it's a beast and it's big, so is the cord. Oh, yeah. So the cord. cord is 60 inches. <whistles> so that is more than what you would find with any standard uh, cable that's going to uh, work in that sort of line. So there you go, 60 Pauline. inches. 60. So you've got a good extra length than what you would find standard with things out in the market, yep. non craft and related. Mm. So what we can do now is we can take these away. So this outside bit is going to cut away. So what I'm going to do is take these ones away. And now, first of all, it stays in place. It's going to happen. Don't worry. Don't think, oh, it's not cut, Craig. What we can then do is start to peel all these bits out. Now, what I'm also going to do as well for the time being is, doesn't matter if they all fall out just now, but what I want to do is create my own frame. So to make it quicker, what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep all these bits into place. But let's pop these ones. So let's pop these to the side so that it's very quick in me being able to assemble it again. Because let's just, let's be honest. <laughs> you have assembled the one from <laughs> Let's be honest. It takes me quite a while to assemble them. Do you know what? I did a jigsaw in uh, about three hours the other day. Did you? Rub yeah, I was quite in. impressed because it said three to five years on the box. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> three to five years on the box. The simple one, was it? No. All right. No. no? No. No. Um, the question about the, I'll move on, the, uh, the jigsaws, could you cut fabric with a jigsaw puzzle dies, um, uh, Rhonda is asking. Well, keep in mind it's a multimedia die, it's a multimedia die and there's nothing overly complicated, so you can, you could use it, of course, if you want to use it as a physical jigsaw, I don't know much about soft crafts as we know, you may need to back it onto a heavier material, or what I would still do is still mount it onto the mount board. Yeah. But nothing uh, stopping you from using it for decoration, etc., etc. So yeah, if you want to use it in that way, why not do it? I don't see why not, because it is a multimedia die. So go for it. But what I'm going to do at the moment now, so I've got my outside frame bend. So I'm going to use my tape. Now you can use your tacky tape, your sticky tape, or let's go out there, your tape and I'm going to hold all this together. Just to say as well, there's been quite a few questions about uh, glue and adhesives. Um, I think we've tackled a few of them, but if you do want to go back, this is another good reason to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Um, if you go on YouTube and subscribe, you'll be able to look back through all of the different videos. 28th of February, uh, with Debbie Fisher, there was a uh, craft class, uh, Glue 101. I want to say that was me. Uh, I have definitely done a glue school. It might have been previous to that. And I also think, and I'm going to double check this in a second, I think there's another uh, glue school coming up very, very soon. So basically, um, it was Joe and Debbie that show on the 28th of Feb, apparently. Uh, but yes, 28th of February. Check it via our YouTube page. Indeed, you can look back on Facebook as well if you want to. Uh, but yes, that's where you need to go for that glue school. And as I said, I'm sure there's another one coming up very soon, which I will double, double check. Uh, but just one quick question on that. So Marie wants to know, how is the Collal Tacky different from the all-purpose glue? So that, uh, we actually covered that one earlier on. That was a question we had earlier on. So we did answer that earlier on in the show, but it's just to do with your call al tacky glue is one that's going to be perfect for your construction. You want your construction for that one here when it comes to your tacky glue. But when it comes to your all purpose, all purpose is going to be great for matte and layers. What it also does is it really makes those layers all sturdy. Gives it that kind of, it gives it an extra layer of yeah. matte and layer without there being any cardstock. If that, if that makes sense, because of the fact of it, it makes it so, so strong. What I would say as well is if you are using your all-purpose glue, I wouldn't necessarily be using our all-purpose glue for anything that's got a coating, such as Centura Peril, Adorable Scorable, Mirror Card, Matte Card, anything like that, because it's actually going to uh, pull up the coating. Um, I w sorry to interrupt, I wasn't wrong. I've just checked my diary. Tell me look at my diary. Uh, Wednesday the 17th of March, Glue School. Wow. Masterclass with Ben and Jan. Yep. There you go. Wednesday the 17th of March, 3 o'clock UK time, which is... Uh, 
3 is 10, isn't it? That's right, 10, 10 a.m. Yes. Eastern. Yeah, so there you go. Put that in your diary. Any questions about glue, 17th of March is the, uh, is the show to go. Masterclass, uh, glue school with me and Jan. I knew I, knew I wasn't making that up. I knew there I wasn't making you go. Up. There we are. So there we go. How freaky is that, eh? Talking about it, and then we've actually got one coming up. I know, almost as if we planned it. We knew. But, um, yeah, as we were saying, if you can't wait until then and you have got a question, I mean, get it in now. We'll try and answer it on this uh, particular masterclass, but you can go back and watch the previous one on the 28th of February. Um, or, as I say, if you can wait, 17th of March. Look at your little frame there, that's great. So we've now used it as a frame. So what I've done is my low tack tape. In case you were wondering what I was doing with the little bits, I had some of the low tack tape actually stuck in between. So all that I've done is just snipped them out, peeled them away, and then our ultra strong tape with a piece of acetate. Now I've already got this one done. So what I've done is popped our red, red liner tape. We've popped a red liner tape underneath, yeah. but we've taped our foam on a roll. Foam on a roll, foam, foam on a roll, roll, foam on a roll. I, s I think roll. that could be Christmas number one. I think it could be. I think oh, so. by the way, talking about um, songs, very soon I'm going to be recording the uh, the Crafters Companion song to the tune of Copacabana. It's pretty much finished, which I know um, people are very excited about. No, I don't know this? anything about that. Ah, oh, so you know, you know, Astrid. Yeah. So sh um, we were talking about um, writing another song, and Astrid wrote the first uh, verse to um, the Crafters Companion song to the tune of Copacabana, which featured Sarah, because Sarah said she didn't have a song. So I've then since written the second verse, uh, right. which is all about uh, Debbie Robinson, and then the third verse, uh, which I've just about finished, is all about Bernie. Oh, so, brilliant. Uh, yeah, that needs to be uh, recorded soon, and um, we, yeah, we'll have that. So that'll be the second song on the, uh, the Crafts Companion album, alongside the Sea Shanty. We've got the Foam on a Roll song. Maybe we can get Joe to record uh, his Shake a Card song. I think uh, so. Georgina wants to record the 12 Days of Craftmas. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, did you see, I know you weren't with us at the time, Ben, but Christmas, not last year, the year before, Yeah. Uh, Debbie Robinson done uh, the Christmas poem, where she just sat. She oh, just the Night Before read, Christmas. The uh, Night Before Christmas, yeah. yeah. So that was really, really good. So yeah, we could do a sing song, couldn't we? Our yeah, absolutely. One, and get it into the charts. Yeah, Christmas album, Christmas panto this year yeah. as well. Craig and I were discussing earlier when we were looking at, uh, we were comparing makeup um, <laughs> Where? before the show, Craig and I. Uh, he's got a much bigger makeup drawer than I have. I, I, I can confirm. Takes a lot to uh, disguise <laughs> this look. <laughs> you said it, not me. Yes, absolutely. But look at this, Ben. So what I've done is created the frame and we've done the shaker. These black pieces here, that is just plain texture cardstock. Okay. It's not, much, it's not mount board. So you can use your normal card if you want. Then taking a couple of bits that were on the inside. So what we can do is randomly place that one over. Let's take another keep a couple of bits of black card of our jigsaw. And we're going to come into place here. Let's do that one here. And then what we can do is also Let's pop a couple of pads on, and this one can then go here. So let's move that out the way so you can see. So we've now created a shaker card from our jigsaw, but not only that, is we've used it as a frame as well. Love that. So that's Sarah's boys that you can see here, nicely framing it, using the jigsaws in a different way. That's with the five by seven, which you get the 20 sheets of mount board. You might want to do it on the larger scale, which is the 10 by eight, also with the larger scale mount board as well. Really, really nice. By the way, I was just about to say, that's probably my, uh, my favorite demo of the show so far. Uh, you need to vote for your demo of the show, of course, so we can put it up onto our crafty walk of fame. Uh, loads of you loving the show so far though. Um, Gene Snook on YouTube is saying, Craig and Ben enjoying the show, waiting patiently for my pro and jigsaw dies to arrive. You'll love them, Gene, when they arrive. you love them. Uh, and Julianne Moore on YouTube, uh, says, I've looked all over the internet and can't find a jigsaw die this big. Well done, Sarah, making them larger, as I have the tiny ones, but never been able to make larger ones. Uh, birthday present to me. Absolutely, Julianne. Um, enjoy that. Really, really enjoy it. More questions coming in, which we'll put to Craig in just a few moments' time. Uh, and Aisha on um, Facebook saying, Yippee, cannot wait for the new song. Yes, it will be coming your way soon. 
Um, go for this one today though, if you want to be able to make those uh, jigsaws, be able to make some amazing crafty projects with those two. The 5 by 7 proving very popular in this show, it comes with 20 sheets of mount board work, exactly, you're getting that for free, $29.99 or $39.95, saving 20% details if you 10 by 8 at the bottom of the screen as well but let's just go back to the star of the show the pro the beast the big daddy the mac daddy whatever you want to call it this this really is an unbelievable machine 50 percent of the stock of this is now gone what are you waiting for uh, you are going to get the ability to um, batch make here. You are going to get the ability to do, you know, projects in one pass. It really is all about this being the pro. If you're somebody who's looking to take your craft into the next level, if you're looking for that, that side hustle, as I say, you're looking to be able to, you know, once the world opens up again, to be able to make cards to sell, this machine soon pays for itself. Start of the show, one of the best demos I've seen with this, 31 dies in one pass. 31 dies in one pass. Grab this now while you can. Uh, here are the details of this amazing machine. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure, and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. It's such a great machine, as you have seen, um, as I said, it, it's one of those things where it is an investment, but grab it today if you can. 359 is the price on this if you are um, going for it as a Platinum member, so ignore that price on the screen. Um, if you're shopping with us in the States as well, it comes down under $400, uh, 399 um, is the deal on that. And as I said, wherever you are within Club Inspire, nobody pays that price right there. Half of the stock um, of this machine has gone uh, as I say, if you've got the ability to grab it today, do not wait uh, because it really is truly a wonderful machine. Lots of love for that last demo that we saw just a few moments ago. Um, Kelly on Facebook particularly saying, great idea for the puzzle frame on that card. Brilliant. Endless possibilities. Yeah, I tell you what, if you can't stretch to the actual uh, Gemini Pro today, then you have got so much, so much more um, on the uh, the show as well, as far as the jigsaw dies are concerned, as far as those stencils are concerned as well. And this is here to stay as well. You know, if you can't get this on the show today, um, you know, th 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 this is a machine that you'd be able to come back and get um, you know, in the future. But as I say, half of the stock that we've got for the show today has gone. Right, we are unbelievably only 40 minutes left on the show if there's any more questions that you want to ask then do get those in that's what this is all about here on this masterclass getting those questions answered and if there's a burning question that you need to ask as far as getting the machine is concerned uh, get in touch on Facebook and on YouTube and we will answer those questions before we disappear at five o'clock uh, UK time when I just heard that spraying a few moments ago there I thought Craig was putting a bit more of his hairspray in his head or oh, you will not believe the amount of uh, hairspray and gel that have gone into uh, into our collective heads of hair today it's it's not easy is it currently craig no it's not, not easy no it's not between wax and hairspray it's not but just to <laughs> clarify i was actually just cleaning my glass mat in case you heard that he wasn't he was doing his hairspray i saw you i saw you he was like that combing it in his little mirror and then doing his beard the mirror 
I don't do a mirror. I no. use a TV monitor to do Oh, that. is that what you were doing? TV monitor. Course. Yeah, course. but I don't know if you've noticed as well, very, very quickly, everything's, whatever we see, everything is back to front, left yeah. to right. So you've got to do your hair that way, but in actual fact, you end up doing it the wrong way yeah. and it just totally messes up, so that's why. Do you know what, a quick, a quick one on that, because I used to work on the holiday parts back in the day, so whenever we used to do the, the dances, like the party dances, you always used to have to go the other way to the way that the people were copying you on the floor. Right, So you know, okay. you used to do like the cha-cha slide, for example. Do you, is it was a cha-cha slide that hit in the US? You'll have to let us know. You know when he goes, slide to the left. Yeah. Slide to the right. You used to have to go slide to the left and slide to the right because if you slid to the left, they would go to the right. It was really confusing. Got so, you go, it. so you go slide to the right. So I'd then have to go that way. Slide to the left and go the other way. Really confusing. It is really confusing. Mm. For us guys, it really is even more confusing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it doesn't take a lot to confuse us. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Now, what I'm going to do is, what we're going to do is a side stepper card here, but we're going to use uh, some of our uh, elongated dies for this one here. Now, straight away, when I bring in, actually, do you know what? I've got our regular plate here. So this is our regular A4 plate. What I'm going to do is let's bring this one in so you're going to see the size of it. So there's our plate. Let's turn it that way. That's not even going to fit. 12 by 12. A 12 by 12 stepper card where you can die cut the detail into the cardstock is simply mind-blowing. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this one in here. So let's bring in our plates once again. Now the way that I've got all these lined up. So it is, for anyone asking, 11 inches by 11 inches. And then all the way, so from left to right, up to this point here, it is eight and a quarter. And then all that I've done is done a little slit because we're going to come in so I know you can't, you can just see my finger here. So two and three quarters, what I've done, I've done a score line. Four, la four inches, I've done a score line. Six and three quarters, I've done a score line here. And what's quite key at this point, don't fold all the way across. Just do a little emboss line or a pencil line. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our main die here. So with this butterfly, what I'm going to do, it's got no outside cutting edge all the way around with this specific die. Now, I know Sarah had these, was it last week or a couple of weeks when it comes to these dies? So you just uh, either check back on the website or have a look online. But what I'm doing with this one is putting it along the score line along the base here. I'm going to add the outside cutting edge that you get with it. Oh, running away. So I'm going to bring this one in. Let's bring in our low tack tape yeah. to secure it. So I'm popping it into the edges there and then here so just to clear that up this line here is right along the middle of the cardstock but i don't want to score it just now otherwise we're going to be left with a score line so what i can do is secure this with our low tack tape once again and pop that on onto place onto place also using some of the dies that Sarah's had on as well. What I've done is I've taken one of these square ones. These come actually with the box. Paper boxes. Paper step. Yeah, that's it. So these are our patterned ones. So we're now using them beyond what they are originally for. So what we can do. So let's pop that one on. Now we're going to line these ones up like we would usually do. So our plastic shim. We need our top cut and plate, and then this time, because we're going back to our normal dies, we need our magnetic. So everything that you already know and love at the moment, Joe, Joe, Joe. Yeah. All right, Debbie. Ben. Could I get called Joe quite I a lot. I could have called you a lot worse there. At the other, at the other place, I used to get. Do you know what? A lot of people struggle with my with my name. It's hard, isn't it? Ben. It's a very hard, it's very hard. Hard to spell as well. Yes. You never get it right. Yeah. Uh, but I used to get called another name at the other place, um, didn't I? You did. <laughs> you did indeed. Dan. Dan, Joe. Well, I'll ask you anything. I've been called a lot worse, to be honest with you, so it's mm -hmm. fine. You know, it's fine. It's not as if I've got a, a difficult name to remember, is it like Engelbert? or something like that. That's or, true. Or Humphrey. Although, to be fair, on my... Uh, obviously, we're doing wake-up call five days a week. Uh, at the moment, I've not been on Crate and Craft here in the UK, but if it was my second last time that I was there, the legend that is Dave Bradford, I did call him Ben. Well, good. Awkward. And, I, and I'm sure that he really appreciated that as well. Uh, Hashtag I, orcs. I think he let me off because uh, 
He's uh, a good. Um, he's a good friend. He's a good egg, isn't he? He's, he's a, a good, good egg. egg, and he's been a. a Big uh, following of mine for a number of years. Big champion, which I always appreciate. So I think I think I got off lightly on that one. Yeah, as long as you uh, yeah, you're calling the wrong names to the right people, that's all that uh, all that matters. Here's a good question, whilst you just picking yeah. this off. And and, and uh, again, I mean, you you not really be able to answer this, but Ziva has asked. Well, don't ask it then. <laughs> no, no, I just want to. <laughs> What? What I've is got the a question for you? You won't be able to answer <laughs> no, it because you no. want to know the answer. I'm going to answer it. No, you anyway. but there isn't really an answer. There's not really an answer to it, right? So Ziva has asked, "What is the life? What is the life expectancy of these wonderful machines? The life? How, I mean, how are they going to last for? And how long is a piece of string? But I mean, I mean, they're going to last Ex years, aren't they? If you look after them, it's all about the way that you look after it. You know, don't uh, push it to the uh, beyond the limits that it can't go. And I say can't go, it is the Gemini. You know, you've got that sheer pressure. Whether, as I said earlier on, but I've moved it over there, whether it is the go or whether it is the pro, it's the incredible pressure. But you know, if it doesn't like something, it's going to spit it out. If it spits it out, it's telling you it's not going to work. Don't keep feeding it through. Don't keep pressing it through. So just look after it. Do what you want to do, craft away. As long as you look after it, you're not going to be throwing it about or damage it, and let's face it, you ain't going to be throwing that beast about. No. But it's going to last you such a long time as well. Any odd issues, questions of that, you've got customer service, and you've always got us on social media as well. So. And the other thing to say with these, right, is it's not as if, you know, I always think of like video games consoles as far as these machines are concerned, because you know you get like a video con games console, and then a year later they'll bring out like the, the, the point one, yeah. a point two. Once you've, once you've got a Gemini Pro, You've got a Gemini Pro. Yep. Do you know what I mean? It's not like next year you're going to go, oh, well, you need to upgrade your, Ge your Gemini Pro to the Gemini Pro Mac 2. Um, so, so that is the other thing to say it about is. it as well. It is a really, really great investment. And you've got that baby uh, for life. And Ziva's also just quickly asked, how did you become a Platinum member? Uh, of course, you, um, you join up Club Inspire. So if you go to our page, right, if you go to our page, um, craftscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu, click on the Club Inspire link, uh, and then basically you join up. It's really, really simple to join. Uh, it's a case of um, just like filling in your email address. Really, really simple. And then basically when you shop, for every pound you spend, you get a point. Uh, and as you move up through the points, you get to 1,500, uh, gets you into platinum. But if you were to go for this today, 449, 449 points gets you almost up to silver if you were, if you were uh, brand new today. Although it would tip you over, wouldn't it? Because you get, you get 250 when you make your first purchase, don't you? We do, yeah. Yeah. So, but that's how you do it anyway. The more you shop, the higher up Club Inspire uh, that you go. Yes, and of course, for your first purchase, you get 20% off too. We'll Dude, play you a little video in just a little while to explain it probably better than I've just done there. Um, back with you. Yes, absolutely. So what I've been doing is we have just been layering it up. So we've taken this top bit. So we've gone along the bit with our edgeable here. So because, now this is what I mean by, if I had scored a line beforehand, we are going to be left with a score line all the way across, which we don't want. So therefore, just putting the little lines into place, it's going to work fine. This is now giving our edgeable, our top fold part anyway. And I'm going to keep throwing back and I'm going to keep reiterating to the fact of this is a large piece of cardstock. Yeah. That you cannot do, you know, there's lots of things you can do on our daddy Gemini, our original Gemini. It's all down to size. So being able to do something like this, sidestepper card, when it comes to a pro, is phenomenal. So we've created that top fold bit when it comes to a pro. And then what I've also done is beforehand, I've also cut out some more of these key elements into place. So what we're going to do is I'm taking some of these sentiments as well. But you actually said something um, really good as well, Ben, where you were saying... Well, thank you, know, you. Oh, You're very welcome. <laughs> how, you know, we're not going to keep coming out with another version, another version. No. Now, yes, we've come out with a different size. We've come out with a different size over the years because it's your request at home. Some of you at home are saying, love the idea of the Pro, but my large Gemini is substantial enough. It's suitable for me. It covers everything that I need to do, so I don't need the Pro. You don't need the Pro then. 
If you find that you are fine with your large Gemini, absolutely fine. But the thing is, this is about, you know, if you are doing your wedding invites, if you are doing things on a much larger scale, your batch making. And that was the whole idea of the Gemini Pro. But what we've noticed, because we have the most incredible loyal fans and followers at Crafters Companion. We certainly Companion, do. A lot of these that we have sold are not actually going to customers that are that have a wedding business or they need to do batch making. It's because they love our products, they love our machines, they love the Gemini, and you pure and simply wanted the larger pro machine so that you can, you can be proud to say that you've got it, but also you can do 31 dies like I'd done at the start. And that's just nests and dies. So think of all your other ones that you've got, your stepper, your easels, your mats and layers, your inipage dies, your uh, central inipage, nest and, do you know what I mean? All the dies that we've got within our range, whether it is basic or whether it is decorative or whether it is, of course, all of the essentials, still gonna go through the pro. So that is, uh, it's always worthwhile to think about, but as you said as well, Ben, if at the moment, which we absolutely totally understand, not even just what's going on in the world, just the fact of it is a considered purchase. Absolutely, yeah. You know, if you can't maybe invest it in at the moment, do you know what? Watch all our shows, learn from them. Sarah's always been open in the fact as well, saying if you don't buy anything from these shows, she's, she's fine with that. Use us for the ideas and inspirations to when you get one in yeah. the future. So go for it. It's so true. That's what we're here for, isn't it? We're here, obviously, you know, to give you these amazing deals, but also, you know, for the tips, the inspiration, the demonstration, so that you've got ideas, you know, for when you get all of these goodies and you've got the know-how to use all of these machines. That is exactly what we're here for. Um, quick question about that uh, edgeable die. Did we know which edgeable die that was, the one that you were using there? Because Stephen's just asking um, what that one's called. Is it Butterfly Dreams? Or is it Butterfly it? Dreams? I'm sure. Was it one that come out when Sarah launched the Pro? I've got a funny feeling. We'll have a look. Feeling. Butterfly dreams I've got in my mind. Producer Georgina will have a look and yeah. then we'll see if you'll answer that. But that's a lovely, lovely bake. So it? what I've got, two, two butterflies have just fluttered off oh, okay. into the air. So what I'm going to do is let's bring in this one here. Wow. So, you use it. so what I've done within these butterflies, I've recut this edgeable at the top here into some of the cardstock. Same range that you showed earlier on, Ben, and we just fussy cut them out, snipped about, layered them over the top. It's actually the one that you've got right on the top of your pile there, Ben. Yeah, the Summer Sorbet collection. Yes. Um, there you go, that is the collection if you want to go for the uh, the cardstock there as well. Um, but what a gorgeous card. Keep track of all of Craig's make so far, the beautiful box that we saw earlier on, the, uh, the jigsaw card too, and then that gorgeous stepper card. Um, there you go, details of the Summer Sorbet on your screen there with the 12 by 12 pearlescent cardstock that you can see if you want to go for that, 19.99 or 24.95. Yes, as we head into the uh, final half hour of the show, we'll be asking for your vote on the demo of the show. Uh, very, very quickly indeed. Uh, but before all of that, we've got three actually, haven't we? We've got, haven't we got three? Even uh, three demos. Three. The box. The box. The jigsaw. Box, jigsaw, and that edgeable that yeah. we've just done. So three to choose from and uh, potentially more to come. Uh, let's just get back to talking about the star of the show, the Gemini Pro, the beast, the Mac Daddy, the Granddaddy, the Big Daddy, whatever you want to call this machine. Um, 60% of the stock has now gone. Do send in your pictures in, before the end of the show. I'd love to see you with your pros if you've um, already got one. There's somebody, and I always forget who it is, but there's somebody who um, is watching right now who's drawn uh, googly, googly eyes on the front of the machine and done like big sharp teeth. Uh, and written the beast all over theirs. If that is you, if you've decorated your Gemini Pro, uh, please send in pics before the end of the show and we'll have a little bit of a look at a uh, Gemini Pro gallery. Studio at craftiscompanion.co.uk um, is the email address. But if you are looking 
to batch make. If you are looking to do your scrapbooking, your bigger projects, then this is absolutely the machine to go for. Platinum members save 20%, bringing that down to 359, under $400 as well, if you are shopping with us in the US. Don't delay, 60% of that stock has gone. Uh, whilst we get ready to show you more, uh, for those of you like Ziva who were wondering about how you can become a Platinum member and all about Club Inspire, here's a little video which will explain. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. There you go, hopefully that explains everything as far as Club Inspire is concerned. We've literally got 25 minutes remaining, so I thought I would quickly rattle through once again that these amazing um, pattern stencils that we've got on the show too. You saw earlier on the, uh, the heart-shaped one go through the machine at uh, your falling hearts. Basically, big size, perfectly use in conjunction with your Gemini Pro. Uh, 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarter inches these pattern stencils and of course we saw these emboss a little bit earlier on too so brilliant for your embossing brilliant for your stenciling um, as well and this eight piece collection comes to you a brilliant deal because you are paying for six of them and you're getting two free i said you buy six you get two free yes you do uh, and, and again you're getting a whole host of different patterns for lots of different occasions you've got that gorgeous wood grain there You've uh, also got, this is my favourite, and I know we mentioned this earlier on, that's the Riddler, that is. And it's called um, Sketch Swirls, but it looks like, it looks like the Riddler suit from Batman. Anyone else with me on that? Thank you, uh, Director George. Thank you. Yeah, because the Riddler used to, his suit just used to look just like that. Oh. Uh, next up, I used to love the original Batman. It used to be on like a, like Channel 4 on a Sunday morning with Adam West and... Uh, uh, was it was Adam West or Bert? Adam West and Bert someone. Oh, who was the original dynamic duo? Bert no, it wasn't Bert Reynolds. Adam West. Bert Bacharach. <laughs> it wasn't Bert Bacharach. He's the guy who writes the songs, isn't he? Raindrops keep falling on my head. Bert Ward, there you go. Uh, Confetti Celebrations um, is your next one. Then, I mean, as I say, so many beautiful designs. Dots and pots. Look at this one here, absolutely gorgeous. Um, sort of like trellis design, isn't this really? Um, Chesterfield leather, though, that one's called. Then you've got on top of that, this gorgeous design here, which is your deco tiles. If you love your art deco, uh, that is for you. And then this one here, got a bit of a um, sort of um, frozen effect, I think, but natural stone, that one's called. And then you've got your Moroccan tile too, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And then I think, yes, we're back to the start. So uh, you're basically getting all, all eight of those 
for the price of six. 47.94 or 59.70. Perfect, as we said, for stencils, but also for embossing as well, as you saw the hearts being embossed a little bit earlier on. 63.92 or 79.60 is the deal on that, saving 15.98 or almost $20 if you're going for this today. Uh, 47.94. 5970 and we are going to have a look seriously right no word of a lie before we go over to him earlier on craig started doing a jigsaw this was during wake up call and i reckon it was probably about it was probably about half past 12 uk time right he's been attempting to do this now for over four hours i mean i know he's been busy doing other things but over four hours he's been attempting to put this together 48 pieces um, yeah, put Fiona's head on her, on, her, on her mouth there. Shuffle Fiona's mouth along. Shuffle her mouth along. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put that on. Perfect. There you go. Where's Beefy. the rest of Leanne's head? That must be. It's, all, it's, it's taken me a while to find it. It's There's all Sarah's that, mouth. Yeah, you've got Sarah's mouth there. It's got all that incredible that, the, knowledge that Leanne's the got. Put in you that, there. Put the eyes shut up, up and let me talk a minute. Put the, don't you tell me to shut up. How very dare you! God, I couldn't, quit jo couldn't keep Georgina quiet yesterday. Now it's you. Jeez, How? let me do my job and get on with the jigsaw. How dare you? Don't tell me. I've never been told to shut up in my life. Yeah, ah, producer Georgina just said, uh, well, actually, uh, your job is to get on with the stencils. Oh, you've done it now. The boss has just walked in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my gosh, it, you've got, got the sweat just there as you walked in. I know, I said that. He, just, he just told me to shut up, Sarah. <laughs> She's smiling about it. Uh, right, put that jigsaw down. Put that jigsaw down now. And um, <laughs> get on with another demo. No word of a lie. Four hours. Four hours. He'll have it finished by the end of the day. Maybe you'll post it on his socials by the end of the day when he's finally done it. And he can write down the time as to how long it took him. <laughs> I'm Craig. It took me seven hours to do a 48-piece jigsaw. <laughs> Look at his face. I could have had this demo done by now. Yeah, but you could have if you weren't messing around with your jigsaw, but you were too busy doing the jigsaw. Anyway, Craig. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Let's go for it. What we're going to do this time is, of course, the stencil. Use them with the Gemini Pro. You can then do all that in Boston, but why not use them? is what stencils would be used for. You can ink through them, spritz through them, distress through them, do your water techniques through them, all these different things. So let's rain it all the way back. And they are that big that I've not even got a 12 by 12 piece of white card, you know, smooth cardstock. So we're going to pop this straight onto A4. Now what I'm going to do within this one here, well, you see it's pointless, Ben, because it's going to be colour on top of colour. Oh. I'm not going to see the colour because I'm using fuchsia on top of fuchsia. But you could use a different colour. You Let's could just have... use white and it's going to showcase the design just beautifully. Recover our relationships. We don't need to recover it. He's gone. I don't come here to be insulted. Why? Where do you normally go? <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Yeah, that, that was, was good. Much. I liked that one. You're welcome. I've done it before. It doesn't normally get a laugh. Have you? Yeah, I'll be yeah. See, I love all your laughs and jokes and everything <laughs> like that. I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. No, no I'm, I'm your biggest, biggest fan. fan. No, I'm your biggest fan. Uh, Katie on YouTube says, Sarah, your boys are being naughty. Shh, Renny. Only playing about. These two are at it again, says Jean Marie. Oh, this is something my mum used to say. These two are at it again. They need their heads banging together. My mum used to say that to me. Yeah. You and your sister don't stop messing around. I'm going to bang your heads together. Yeah, but it might actually sort our hairdos, though, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I know, eh? Yeah. Can you imagine? We'll start behaving now. Sorry sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. And Teresa, just by the way, talking about Batman earlier on, you said, Ben, you're showing your age. I didn't watch the original Batman when they were out. <laughs> I'm not that old. I watched the reruns. Yes, I didn't you watch did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't watch them in the 60s when they were out. I watched the reruns in the, in the 80s or whenever it was. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm not that old. Oh, 40, 42 next month. There you go. 42. Yeah, I am Georgina. Georgina sounds surprised, Craig, that I'm uh, 42. How old do you think I was? 25? <laughs> How old are you this year, Craig? Me, I'm 36. 36. In June. 21st mm. of June. 
So there's a lot going on on the 21st of June. Like, it's going to be the biggest party ever, isn't it? It is, it, yeah. If it all goes to plan here in the well, UK. Well, that's it. If everyone behaves themselves here in the UK, then yeah. uh, and all goes to plan. So it's going to be celebration time for sure. Yes. Here we go. We're going to go... For my birthday, we're going to go big, we're going to go bold, and we're going to go as bright as I'm going right here when it comes to these stencils. Oh, yes, and I like that. Inks. Big, bright and bold. Absolutely. And, well, not quite beautiful, but... Bright and bold. Big, bright, bold, beautiful with some beers on your birthday. Yeah, sounds good. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah. So we've gone for honey pot and keeping in the bright mood, we've gone for fuchsia here. Now I would, when it comes to stencils, use your repositional spray. That's going to hold all your stencils down into place. But it's not something I use it a lot. As long as we've got it taped down nicely and securely, which I have at each side here. And what I'm going to do is I am, I'm not so much blending over the top bend because I've not secured it down with our spray, temporary spray. What will happen is if I really add a lot of pressure to press, what's going to do is it's going to pull the stencil up. Yeah. So therefore I, uh, I'm just kind of like dabbing the colour on. But if you do use your repositional spray, then you absolutely can start to do the blending. I'm just going to line line that bit up, just come up underneath slightly. Actually, I kind of like I kind of like that kind of uh, shadowed effect. So I'm not actually, uh, I'm not going to do more because I don't want to make that uh, unclear. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to peel. This oh one yes, off. Mister. Now look at that. Yes. Now, absolutely, this full two hours is all about being the Gemini Pro and the incredible things size-wise that it can do, especially with the stencils by embossing them. Simply reining it right back and using the stencils the way that they are intended. Now I've gone straight on with ink. However, what you could have done, Ben, is you could have run that through your Pro, embossed it like we'd done at the start, then inked over the top so you've got that color you've got that effect you've got that blending effect but then you've also got the raised texture as well by doing the embossing but straight away that could be chopping it down that could be the back of uh, your card that could be the back of maybe your memory book if you've got any of the eight inch or the 10 inch one always remember as well just referring back to the memory books as the 10 inch ones you do need the pro to use uh, the 10 inch one but this could be the backdrop as well. Lots of different ways that you can use your stencils. They're really, really, are. I'm thinking of them, you know how uh, Debbie Robinson always says, you know, that we really need to get embossing folders back out there a lot more, because they've kind of disappeared over the last ye few years. Kind of the same with stencils now, because mm. there's so much that you can do with them as well. And I just love the effect and the design of these. I love that too, because that one's the um, the deco frame. So you think deco, art deco, but actually just the choice of colours there, that's yeah. got a real sort of like 80s feel to it to me. I love that. So versatile. George, shush. She's just gone, well, you know all about the 80s. Outrageous. This is like first day back. And seriously, the insults that I get. One, one day, right, I'm going to hold my little earpiece up to my mic so you can hear the barrage of abuse that I get over the course of the two hours. And it's some people think we laugh and jokingly, gosh, not being very professional, are they? However, if you could imagine what we're actually doing and speaking and saying with the barrage that's going mm. on, mm. you would be, oh my gosh, how good are they? How good yeah. are they? Constant waffling yeah. in our ear. Constant. Do you know, you know in the Tom and, Tom and Jerry cartoons when they pick up the phone, the old cartoons, and someone's like on the phone going, it's like that, non-stop. Two hours. Forty-seven ninety-four or fifty-nine seventy for this collection. Uh, let's show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you these because these are quite nice. I've, I've shown you the boards, but I'll yeah, show you. So, so, I don't see how everyone gets so high. Let's do it. I'll show you. I'll work, Craig. I'll show you. This is what I'll show you. Yeah. No. I, my voice just went really high. I don't know why it went high. So, uh, so we've got your falling, so basically, right, you're getting, hang on, let's just do it like this, right, so you can see. So you're getting your falling hearts, you're getting your gorgeous wood grain. Remember, these are big as well, 11 three quarters by 11 and three quarter inches, absolutely stunning. Then you've got the um, sketched swirls, riddle me this, riddle me that, who's afraid of the big black bat? Uh, then you've got your dots and spots. Then you've got your natural stone, and the one we just saw there, you've got your deco tiles. So that's great, right? But then we're going to give you these two 
for free. That one there is your Moroccan tile. I really like that one as well. Makes me feel like I want to go on holiday. Ah, uh, holidays, eh? And, yeah, and you've got your Chesterfield leather. Producer George has gone on into holiday from you. Um, 47.94 or 59.70. With this deal, you buy six, you get two at absolutely no cost to yourself. Absolutely free. Aye. Aye. You're dead brilliant, man. Aye, you're dead brilliant too, man. Aye. 4794 <laughs> or 59.70 um, and 20% off that as well if you are a platinum member. Let us show you what we did. Oh, we're looking at some pictures, I think. Oh, no, we're looking at jigsaws. Sorry, so we said, oh, we are looking at pictures. Come on, Ben, be professional. Uh, right, the jigsaw dies. These have proved very, very popular. Uh, this is a 10 by 8 jigsaw die, so to make your bigger ones, 48 piece jigsaw puzzle, uh, this one. And actually, this will keep you busy once you've made the puzzle, if you're Craig, for probably around about six or seven hours once you try and put it back together. Thankfully, it doesn't take you that long to make the jigsaw, and you're going to get 20 sheets of mount board with this as well. 49.99 or 59.95 is the deal on that one today, less you 20% if you are a platinum member. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, next up is the 5 by 7 so this one is a 24 piece jigsaw puzzle once again with this so simple to use print off those photos take those drawings that you've done and turn them into a fabulous jigsaw 29.99 or 39.95 you get the map board for free next up is your dimensionals favorite box die collection and again with this you get a huge amount of different um, uh, favour boxes to be able to make with this collection. It is your uh, die and box stencil. So you've got your origami favour box, your happy heart, your country cottage, your locking heart, your handled favour box, and your ornate favour box as well. Everything that you need there to make all of those boxes and, of course, then uh, the little dies to decorate them with. That deal is £75 or $90, saving $26.94 or $29.70. And then on top of that, you can get yourself the Country Village Complete Collection. I love this because you've got the templates there to be able to make the townhouse, the church, the cosy cottage, the manor house, and um, all of those. You then get the die sets to be able to create all of the doors and windows and decorations for each of the houses. And then you get a stamp set included too to be able to add things like uh, the woodwork and the brickwork with that collection too. $99.99 or $124 is the deal on that, saving $42.90 or $42.45. 85 elements in total. Um, Linny just saying, you two are asking for trouble. The voices in your ears may take their revenge later. Playing with fire. It's all right. It's all right. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We've only got one more show with um, George and George, and then I think they go off for a couple of days, so it'll be, it'll be all right. It'll be all forgotten about by the time we all meet up again. Uh, and Rita McNamee on Facebook says, you pair are absolutely hilarious, making me really chuckle as always. Glad to hear that. It's nice that we can be fun and also um, educational at the same time. Right, now is the time for you to get some votes in, but I know what you're saying. Ben, can you do a quick lineup of all of Craig's makes so far so we can vote for the demo of the show. So let us have a look at what uh, the crafty man himself has. Oh, here we go. Oi! Oh, I'm waiting. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready, are you? I'm ready. He's doing a jigsaw again. Really? Can you, if we can just drag you away from your, your jigsaw. Oh, well done. He's getting there. Getting can there. you. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Is it okay, okay. if we just have a you look? Got at them the... all ready to go? Well, do you want to. They're here. So I've not popped in the stencil, so the one with the ink. What we've just done is obviously kind of the, the key uh, ones, demos that we've done. So we've got the thanks box all on your larger scale. So we can see here just coming up in a moment. Then what we've got is our puzzle shaker that you can see here. So using the jigsaw, but using it as a shaker as well as a frame. And then what we've done within this one here, we've created that large sidestepper card using one of the edgeables, using the sentiments as well. That's the three main ones. We have done obviously a lot of individual die cutting through yeah. to show you how you can do different things, larger things, maybe just quick things. But the key main ones here are within these three. Um, this is for the demo of the show, by the way, which will mean at the end of the week somebody gets voted uh, as the crafter of the week. Um, 
could we at some point, because I know you said you were going to do this, Craig, and you haven't done it yet. I know, you know, we, we, there was a decision was made that as presenters, we can't win if we do a little demo, but I'm really sad to, to see over there on the, 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 the roll on the wall there that I've not been given a, a commendation for my scrapbook page that I did I think I'm week. going to, I think I'm going to write, um, do you know what? I've got to have a commendation, surely. I'm not asking to be crowned the crafter of the week, but I can't believe that no, I I'm didn't not get... Having, I'm not having, I'm not having my mate across there not getting a commendation. Thank you. I can't believe that. I'm not, I, you know, I, you know I, 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 I backed up Joe on the day when everyone was going, oh, no, he can't go on there. He can't go on there because he's not a crafter. Oh, you, come on. Thank you. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Georgina's gone, love the fact you had to beg for that. Uh, but no, yeah, thank you, Craig. This is why I love this guy. Thanks. I, there you go. Oh, can I just have a look? Oh, you done me a star as well. Oh, Absolutely. Mate. I am taking the over railing on this one here. We've got Ben, he's got accommodation that he absolutely deserves. Scrapbook page. It was Jan's craft along, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Obviously, it goes to show that incredible scrapbook that you've done having Jan uh, teaching you with the craft along there. So absolutely, 100% deserve that one. <laughs> I feel like a newsreader here. <laughs> So the winds are going to go from here. Now, they're going to go central all the way down. Now, we've got a high temperature of round about, you know, the 20s up here. As that comes all the way... Just channeling my uh, Laura Tobin from Good Morning Britain. Right, I tell you what, if it ever goes wrong for you here, I could definitely see you as the, uh, the, the, the next weatherman. That was brilliant. I love that. Uh, George, who was it said? Let me get my little violin out. Thanks, Fred. Uh, oh, please now. I'll shut up about it now, yeah? I'll shut up about it. <laughs> right, we've got about five minutes to fill. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, oh, wait, yeah, we're doing a demo again. You've got to do another demo and you're yeah, still doing your um, jigsaw. Yeah, um, yeah, we're going to do... No, we're not doing the jigsaw. Uh, I know no. I'm just playing with this just while we're going. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to be using the pro again. What we're going to do is we're going to show you something. We gave you a bit of a look in Wake Up Call this morning. But what we're also going to do is it's actually coming up later on in um, Launch Party. Yes, correct. And this is our large, this is our create a card dies. Now, within these ones here, these are great. Now, these are going to go through your junior or, of course, your standard Gemini standard being the original but what you can then do is with these ones here and this is the church scene that i'm going to be using within each set keep an eye that's going to be what's that 7 7 p.m here in the uk with yourself and sarah yes so this is my last show for the day sarah's taking over for the the final one later on so let's get this main die so let's take this one and let's take let's peer can we get there we go so we've got our main design of our church scene. Now this is where it's an absolute incredible genius way of being able to use this with the Pro, no outside edge. So that could be 12 by 12 cardstock, that could be A3 cardstock, that could be huge. So what I'm going to do is, now I am going to get asked this question and I don't know the answer so just let me know, uh, let me tell you that I will get back to you on this. I have found this in our crafty stash uh, where it's been used. Uh, I think Sarah's probably actually measured this one out onto the Ultimate Pro. So I'm not sure the exact measurements, but bear with, I will find out for you. But what I'm then going to do is I'm going to pop my die into place. Now what I'm doing is I am using the die so that it's actually into the center. We're not using this outside die, which then means it's going to stay into place. So then what we can do is we're going to take our low tack tape, we're going to centralise that a little bit better, then these bits in the middle, Ben, these are the ones that are going to be waste. So what I'm going to do is pop my low tack tape in the middle, uh -huh. bringing in our large plates. Now, although this die is going to go through your junior as well as your midi if it's on a smaller scale, just the fact that it's going to go through the Gemini Pro on a humongous scale is just phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so what we can do is line these ones up let's bring in the beast itself the and beast we're going to pop it all the way in so that's going to feed it through now instantly now i can't believe we've gone two hours and i've not even said instantly the difference i hear when it comes to the sound is so much quieter feels quicker don't know if it is actually quicker but it certainly sounds like it so so much quieter so what we're going to do is we're going to move that one out of the way. So what we can then do is take all these bits here. 
So I'm going to bring this one back into place. We're going to peel all these ones out. Now we've got all these little bits. It's not missed anything. So the incredible pressure when it comes to our large Gemini as well as our junior. Yeah. As we say, no matter what Gemini machine you go for, you've got that sheer pressure. That's what it's all about. But now we've got it on this larger scale, this huge scale that you can take your craft in. One, to the next level, whether you're doing it as a hobby, or if you are thinking of a business, or you've got a business, this is then going to, it's, Ben, when you've got your own business at home, crafting business, anything like that, you, you physically cannot charge for your time. Yeah. Because, you know, I'd make cards for friends and family in the past, it should take me all day. By the time that you work out what you're going to do, the way it's going to look, the colours, you could spend all day on a card. How can you charge someone for all day work? for a card or yeah. for a project, you yeah. can't. Whereas the Gemini, the pro, is now, it's given you that time back, it's given you that um, flexibility, it's given you that extra, little bit of extra pennies in your pocket because you've saved yourself time, and then therefore, you, the money you do make, you've got it within that substantial time frame, and then what you can then do is do a lot more because of the size. Tell you what, that is a swift, swift demonstration. We've literally got about 40 seconds left, but that looks gorgeous with those um, credit card dice. It does, doesn't mm. it? And it's a, this is what we class as a pizza box style card. Yeah. So it's the lid and base already joined into each other. You do have guides how to make this with the, the scoreboards of the Ultimate Pro, I believe. But here we go. So folding all them bits in, and then here you go, you've got your own little box here as well. Fab. Fantastic demo to finish. Demo of the show, though, as voted for by you, was the puzzle frame card. I knew that would be the case. Uh, that one will go up on our crafty walk of fame. And thank you to Jerry saying, Ben, loved your scrapbook page. First show I saw, and I am now hooked on Crafters TV. Well, that's good. Are you back in the morning? Uh, I am back tomorrow morning, uh, midday, here in the UK, 7 a.m. Eastern time, 4 a.m. Pacific time, and it is Wednesday. Uh, completely different change on the other side I'm not going to be demoing tomorrow I might just be joining the side of those guys oh yeah because I'm not with you tomorrow because I'm coming in a little bit later because of course we've got a uh, special show tomorrow evening as well more on that to come but for now big thank you to Craig big thank you to you for watching as well if you've got this in your basket check it out do not miss 60% of the stock is gone and stay tuned we'll be back in just a couple of hours uh, with the launch party the launch of that brand new sub box if you've not seen it yet you might need to be quick because it was flying out the door earlier on thanks for watching see you in a couple bye for now bye Thank you.